Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. The forecast says that it's gonna drop into the 30s, so I am so excited to spend a cold, chilly night at the Magic Kingdom. But first, we are here at the Grand Floridian. I also heard that they actually put out a miniature version of their gingerbread house. So I wanted to show you that and then hop over to the Magic Kingdom. Let's go do this. I am absolutely loving all of the holiday decor at the resorts and just listening to the music. I'm not even sure where the actual gingerbread house is. I just know that it's somewhere here in the Grand Floridian. So we're gonna search around a little bit and of course, visit the actual Grand Floridian tree. Look at that beautiful tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. And it looks like it's actually inside the Grand Floridian Cafe. So we're actually going to go in and take a peek see at it. And look at what I found right here in the Grand Floridian Cafe. A chocolate sculpture hand decorated by the Grand Floridian Bakery. So. That is so awesome, isn't it? I mean, this is a little bit bigger than what they would have out front, but wow, I absolutely love it. Oh my Lord, they even have the little gingerbread sign. I'm so happy I got to see a little miniature version of this this year. Now that we are able to show you the chocolate gingerbread house, I think we're gonna head right on over to Magic Kingdom. The park is only open till eight o'clock tonight. And like I said, it's super, super cold. So I think we're gonna actually use the Grand Floridian walkway. I haven't done it yet, might as well. Isn't the Grand Floridian grounds just so beautiful? And if you look in the distance there, you can see Cinderella Castle. Oh, and I see a sign, walkway to the Magic Kingdom. You know, I'm actually here with Erica, All Things Parks. She is festive and ready for the holidays. Ready. You ready for the 30 degree weather? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Even me, like when I heard it was gonna be in the 30s, I was like, I gotta go to Magic Kingdom. But did I put pants on? No. Looking back at the Grand Floridian, and now I really appreciate the view from over here. Look at this, you can see the sun beating off of Bay Lake Tower. And now the monorail is making their way around the bend right there. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Hi friends. Walt Disney World monorail system. And take a look over here, guys. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you. It looks like we have a Disney deer right in daylight. How awesome is that? A deer underneath the monorail. That is so awesome. Look at that, and now we got a baby deer. Oh, that is so awesome. And can you hear the horn? I love Disney critters. And we made it to the Magic Kingdom. Listening to the music, seeing everybody wear their winter clothing and their gloves and hats. This is a wonderful time. Honestly, I love it. Well, I don't mind walking in and hearing the Dapper Dan's. I cannot even begin to explain to you guys how I'm feeling right now. I absolutely love Disney World. I love Florida. You get used to the heat and the humidity, but I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm from up north, so I'm used to the cold Christmases. And like, I feel like Christmas time reminds you of family and home time. So like now that it's cold down here and it's Christmas, I feel like I'm home even when I'm at home. And of course, no better feeling of feeling like you're at home than seeing Cinderella Castle from Main Street right now is like the perfect like color scheming in the sky it's like a cotton candy sky but you have all the multicolored lights here in the hub this is beautiful look at how beautiful it is and now we're adding bubbles to the element it's just so amazing out right now we got a squirrel leading the way now we're gonna enjoy all of the disney critters today deer squirrel give us a rabbit Maybe even an opossum, Lester. 
I have been trying to ride Jingle Cruise actually since the first day it switched over, but every time I come, the line is extraordinarily long. Today is no difference. We're right here past the treehouse, literally almost going into the hub, and it's just so long. They say it's about an 80 minute wait from right there. Normally, I think I would ride it just so that I can get the experience, but like I only have like two hours in the park because it closes at eight. So that'll take literally almost 75% of my time. I hope I can get on it before Christmas. I'm probably gonna make it happen one day. I think we're gonna actually start over here in Frontierland. I feel like all of the attractions in Frontierland are usually not so busy during chilly weather, like Splash Mountain. I don't think a lot of people are wanting to get wet right now. And I, being one of them, definitely don't want to ride Splash Mountain. I don't want to be wet in 30 degree weather. But I'll tell you what I do want to do. I want to ride the wildest ride in the wilderness. It says 55 minutes. I don't believe it. So we're going to say 5.59 exact. And it said 60 minutes or 55 minutes. I think we're good. During very hot, humid days, this corridor down here is such a really rough spot to get stuck at because it is so hot down there. It's only been three minutes and we've been in line and I'm feeling really good about this. I love Big Thunder Mountain, especially at night. Look at all that uplighting. Beautiful. Look at that, 12 minutes exact. Folks are wearing hats or glasses. Cause this here's the wildest ride in the world! Hang on tight! Ah! <laughs> Look at that go! <laughs> Look at that donkey! And look who made it back with us, our hats. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. 13 minutes to wait to actually get on Big Thunder Mountain. I enjoyed it. A little bit colder now, not too bad. I feel like you're really feeling it. Hi, how are you? I'm good. But sorry, Splash Mountain, maybe another night or another day, maybe preferably daytime on a hot day. I really believe the chilly weather has definitely spooked away some people. Look at Liberty Square. Like it is very quiet over here. Might as well just stop here because it looks like we're at that 15 minute mark. So maybe we can catch a little firework. Oh look it, see? Oh, it's seven what do you guys think? Isn't this the best ugly sweater in existence? Absolutely amazing. If you guys actually watched the video where I went to Give Kids the World Village and did the uh, Night of a Million Lights, I rode the carousel there and I had so much fun. I said the next time I come to Magic Kingdom, I'm definitely gonna ride the carousel. So, here we are. And I am just so excited. I love the music for the carousel here at the Magic Kingdom. And look how they're actually socially distancing every other row. Actually, they're assigning your row, so we got lucky number six. So we can pick any of those four horses on six. That makes you happy though, right? You actually get like your own different row and then they do every other one. Back up north at Knobles, they actually have like a little thing on the outside and it has a ring where you actually have to like reach out and pull a ring off. And if you get the golden ring, you get to ride again. And it looks like this is gonna be my steed for this evening gonna hop aboard here we go <laughs> oh, and there's the castle chim chimini chim 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 cherry <laughs> did you name your horse maximus maximus I said Pegasus. Oh. <laughs> that was super fun. We didn't time it perfectly because we have two minutes and then the fireworks are going to happen at the castle. So we're going to try to catch it from the backside. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm just lurking around the castle at the 15 minute mark of the hour every hour just so I can catch a little firework burst because I just love them. Look how beautiful it is though, right? A lot of people say the back side of the castle looks better for holidays because they have this garland right here. But I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful sight to see, isn't it? Now we're actually going to head back over to where the carousel was because while we were riding I noticed that Cinderella's carriage is actually out to take photos with and that's something I haven't seen yet so we're going to get in line and just get a quick photo you know. Where's your coat at? Yeah she's crazy right? There it is isn't it beautiful? I'm glad we grabbed that photo opportunity when we did it's only 45 minutes and the park closes, so we're gonna try to get some more rides in. I think we're gonna head over to Tomorrowland, which I'm already in, and uh, attempt to get on Buzz Lightyear. I bet you there's not a long wait, but if there is, we'll, we'll assess the situation when we get there. It says 30 minutes for Buzz Lightyear, but there's no uh, line outside, so that makes me believe it's under 10 minutes. We'll find out. 721, 30 minutes. We'll see. Whoa! I believe we got a walk on here, folks. Yep, we're walking right on. Wow, that is awesome. A walk on. I like it. Up in your blaster. Thank you. Z marks the spot. Yeah, get that volcano. What the heck? Unfair. I think someone cheated. They know the tricks. <laughs> ah! So what, your job's done now? You just sit back and relax? Enjoy the ride! <laughs> I think you did good. You did good, kid. Galactic hero, huh? Since Buzz Lightyear was a walk-on, we might as well go back to Space Mountain and just see what the wait is. Like, I'm feeling like we are really lucking out with the times right now. Too bad we missed Santa Stitch, though. Really wanted to see him. It says 40 minutes, but we're not thinking it is. Usually it's like queued up out here. We might get lucky here. Looking pretty good here. Two minute wait, not too shabby. I don't know about you guys, but when I ride Space Mountain, I like to be in the middle. I don't want to sit in number one. I'm afraid of getting my arms chopped off. Time to load up. Nothing like capping off your night with Little Space Mountain. That was fantastic. Now I think we're gonna need to get a hot beverage so we can actually walk out of here. It's getting really cold, isn't it? Chilly, chilly. Very chilly. What's the temperature even? I gotta check. It's still only in the 40s. It actually hasn't dropped down to the 30s yet, but it's only 7.30, so I bet you later on tonight it's gonna get really cold. Normally, I think I'd be getting myself maybe one of those peppermint mochas or even a nice hot coffee. But tonight, I think tonight is a hot chocolate night. That's the way. Hot chocolates? Yeah. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. 
I have to say that normally I'm not a hot chocolate drinker, but like I said, I feel like this is just like a hot chocolate or a hot cocoa night. And normally I get a lot of hot cocos during the Christmas party, so it just makes sense to indulge a little bit here. Oh, that's hot. There's a man walking up there on the people mover. I want to be where you are, sir. Psst. Can I come up? <laughs> yes, I, I want to go. <laughs> now it's getting that time. The park is almost closed. We're going to head back out to the hub area, see if we can catch one more projection and one more firework. Oh, I just love being out here. Now it's time to end the night, but before we go, we are going to go through the Emporium because they have an amazing sale happening. I'll look down Main Street though before we actually get in line because it is a pretty long line actually. Looks like the Emporium line starts here at the Crystal Palace, which is actually open now I think. If it's not open now, I know that it is opening very soon, so maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. The line actually moved rather quickly. What do you say, like a minute? Yeah, we're getting there. A minute. Look at all these amazing flabbergasting deals. <laughs> right there, flabbergasting. <laughs> Here's the special that I was talking about. Select holiday headwear and apparel, all 30% off. That is crazy, right? You can definitely get some really good Christmas shopping done here. In fact, that might be what I'm doing right now. So I'm not gonna show you everything I get, but wow, what a deal, right? Basically anything that's the holiday merchandise, it's 30% plus your annual pass discount. You just really can't, it's just so amazing. And with that, I think I am gonna call it a night. I had so much fun just hanging out on a nice little chilly, cold Magic Kingdom night. I ended up buying some really cool gifts. I'm excited, you know, to give those out and what a great deal. I saved a lot of money and uh, yeah, just really had a lot of fun tonight. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.